A new report this week claims Alabama lawmakers prioritize legislation that sends more Alabamians to prison. 200 bills introduced during the last legislative session are what the ACLU calls prison pipeline bills, and 76 of them were signed by the governor. Political reporter Aaron Davis explains. Alabama's prison crisis is getting worse, and according to the Alabama ACLU, lawmakers are to blame for adding to the state's overcrowded prison population. Legislators are focusing more and more on punishment as a solution to um, issues in the state, and what we'd like to see them is focusing on the issues that actually improve our daily lives. The ACLU defines a pipeline bill as one that creates a new or enhanced criminal penalty, adds additional funding, or expands the scale, scope, and power of law enforcement. And what we'd really like our legislators to be focusing on are the issues that impact everyday Alabamians, like our health care, our public schools, and making sure we have adequate funding for those resources. Highlighted in this year's report is a new law that expands loitering violations on state highways. The only reason I passed this bill is because we lost over 800 lives in 21 on state highways from pedestrians. And a lot of these were people that were panhandling. Both parties supported the bill during the session. According to the bill sponsor, Representative Reed Ingram, no one has been arrested since this law went into effect. The officer has the right to be able to take them to a shelter, offer them the shelter before we take them to any punishment or, or to a jail. The Alabama ACLU still has concerns about criminalizing panhandling. It's really important to recognize is that we have First Amendment rights, and when we're criminalizing people's free speech, that doesn't make us safer. The ACLU noted that lawmakers did not pass a single bill that authorized what they deem meaningful criminal legal reform. In Montgomery, Aaron Davis, WSFA 12 News. You can read more about the dozens of so-called prison pipeline bills in the full report. We have a link on WSFA.com.